In this video, I want to take you on a quick tour of the Joomla administrator interface. And this is what you're seeing. If you're not there, go to your website, add a slash administrator, and log in with the credentials you used when you set up your site. You should now see this screen. Down here on the left, we have some quick links to the main parts of Joomla. They're really helpful. Here in the middle, we've got some messages as well as other information once we start to build our site. Up here on the top menu, this Joomla icon will bring you back to this screen. The system dropdown, again, brings you back to the control panel. Global configuration, which we looked at in the previous video, and we'll look at again later on. Global check-in, clear cache, clear expired cache are three helpful menu items that help maintain your site. And of course, system information allows you to look at all of the information about your setup, including your PHP version, MySQL version, and things like that. And that's actually quite helpful if you're running into issues with your site. You can quickly look at all of the PHP variables, the configuration file. If you're having problems with folder permissions, like for instance, my configuration.php right now is unwritable, and PHP information, I'm using PHP 7, which you're allowed to use now with Joomla 3.5. On the user menu, this is where we, well, manage our users. We can add new users, add new user groups, and create access levels for everybody on our site. Access levels manage what people can see and what people can do on your Joomla site, and we'll talk more about that later. If you have a large user base, you might want to use user notes and categories for your notes. And this is really helpful, again, if you've got a large user base. Mass mailing your users sounds like a great idea, and if you've just got a few, actually, it's really cool. But if you have a couple of thousand users on your site, this is probably not something you want to do unless you've worked out with your host about throttling emails. You don't want to be labeled as a spammer. Here on the menus dropdown, we have manage our menus, and we have the ability to add new menu items to our menus, and we'll do that in just a few moments. The main place you'll spend a lot of your time setting up your Joomla website is here on the content dropdown. Articles, categories, featured articles, and the media manager. And we'll look at all of those as we go. In Joomla, there are five kinds of extensions, components, modules, plugins, templates, and languages. Components are out here on their own because they're usually large software packages that you either use out of Joomla core or add-ons from the Joomla extensions directory. And they appear here because, again, they do a lot more than just the little plugins. I'll talk more about extensions in a later video. Here on the extensions dropdown is where we can manage, install, update, discover, check our database, look at some warnings, install languages, and even look at the update sites that our Joomla site is using. Modules, plugins, templates, and languages, of course, round that out. And then, of course, there's the help menu. These are links to fantastic help documentation from the Joomla community, and I'd encourage you to look at these if you're new to Joomla. Lastly here, we've got a link to our front end or the public side of our site, which right now, of course, is pretty blank unless you installed the sample data or you're working on a site that already exists. Again, to get here, you just go to your normal URL. To get to the administration side, you add the word administrator. On the dropdown, you can see your own account name, edit your account, and log out of your account, which I always recommend when you're done editing your Joomla site at the end of the day. And that's a quick tour of the main Joomla administrator interface. We'll be touching on all of these areas as we go through this course.